Hello again ladies and gentlemen, Sonic Yoda from SayYodaDriven.com and welcome back to our Sonic Amateur Games Expo 2018 coverage. In this video we're taking a look at Sonic Battle for Station Square. Now this is quite a unique little one in that there's a lot of adventure elements in this on top of the traditional Sonic platforming. So you've got a nice big open space for you to explore. Um, there are sort of stages but they're attacked in a very sort of... Um, uh, yeah, open way, so you can sort of, you can return to areas at any any given time as long as you've unlocked them. Um, you don't have to worry about uh, rings for health in this, in that you actually have a health gauge down the bottom here. It's like these these three sneakers. Um, so basically, you can take three hits, and you can still get your health back up if you find another um, sneaker icon, and that will obviously add to your health. Um, but the rings in this are actually used for uh, currency, essentially. So certain areas are locked off and you can unlock them using your rings that you've collected from around the game, um, which is a cool idea. Basically, there's an awful lot of extra missions and side quests for you to, to seek out and look for and complete, and, and those can also open up areas. Um, areas can be blocked off by uh, the amount of emerald pieces you need to find, so there are another collectible that you can go around looking for. Um, in this first area at the start here, it's basically a tutorial teaching you all the abilities you have and as you complete each section you unlock more areas to explore in here, but then the wider open space is more sort of mission based, so it's a case of breaking totems to find certain items, um, activating switches that uh, give, your, give you um, give you access to certain paths that uh, that are previously invisible. You can also generate this sort of light sphere which you can use to collect items and activate other uh, switches and things like that. There's an awful lot going on here. It's a game that deserves your attention, um, deserves your time especially because it's not a traditional Sonic game in the fact that you'll just be blasting through the stages and trying to get uh, through as quick as possible. There's a little bit more thought put into this I, I don't want to say it's a Metroidvania because the map isn't really as... It's, it's still a little bit more linear in comparison. It feels like one long stretch, basically. And as you go along, um, you'll you'll find items and things that you need to collect to access uh, areas later in the stage. Um, but it does, it does feel like one big long stage, essentially. So yeah, a really cool little idea, this. Um, a little, something a little bit more unique. Uh, it plays really well. Uh, Sonic controls as you'd expect him to in a 2D Sonic game, so that's fun. Um, but there's just a lot more abilities, and there's a lot more to find, and, and 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 a lot more places to explore in this, which is you know against the grain of a normal Sonic game, which is very much sort of level structured and um, focused on sort of getting to the next stage as quick as possible. You, you'll definitely do a lot more exploration in this, and it's definitely a lot more rewarding as a, as a as a game as a result. Um, there's lots of things to interact with as well. There are many characters littered around the stage, and the dialogue is very sort of um, it's an indie game, I guess. There's a lot. Of, there's a bit of humour there. Um, it's it's not the world's best dialogue, but it certainly matches the characters quite well. And there's a lot of sort of humour to it as well. But um, yeah, so there's that there as well. If you're if you're you're keen on sort of story elements to your Sonic game, I suppose. But there's there's a little bit of that here as well. But it's mainly told through text, and you can skip through it nice and quick if you want to just get in straight into the action. Um, but yeah, Sonic uh, Battle for Station Square, a lot more um, sort of unique ideas in, included in this one. So like I say, you know, um, using rings for currency is quite unique. Having a, a limited health gauge um, where you can take multiple hits. Um, and a little bit more emphasis on exploration and uh, side quests just make this one of the more unique 2D offerings at this year's Sage. And one I'd recommend. I was having a lot of fun with this, um, but I, I've, you know, I captured a good 20 minutes worth of footage and felt like, okay, I think it's time to actually report on this now. But there's an awful lot of game in here. I, I, um, I felt like I could have been, I could have been playing it for a lot longer. So I think this one is definitely worth checking out because it's definitely one of the more generous offerings out there as well. So yeah. Um, Go and have a look. 